Hello, my name is Michelle Wynn. Today I will be demonstrating the colostomy care skill. The supplies that I'll be using, I have gloves, I have stoma paste, I have washcloths, I have my measuring tool, and I have my pre-cut base plate and pouch already applied to my patient. I will gather my supplies and proceed to my patient's room. I will knock before entering, close the door behind me, close the curtain to ensure patient privacy. I will place my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will perform hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hello, my name is Michelle and I'll be your nurse today. Can I please have your name and your date of birth, please? Okay, I have verified their information with their wristband. Okay, so Ms. Jones, today I will be removing your current colostomy bag. I will clean your stoma and apply a new bag. Okay, do I have your permission to proceed? Okay, so I will put on clean gloves. And for the purposes of the next part of the video, I'm going to um, bring my camera down so that you can see the bag clearly. Okay. Okay. So, Ms. Jones, I will begin by removing the current bag that's on you, okay? okay? So, when removing the bag, you just unclamp it. And then you discard of the waste that's in here. You would dispose of it in a toilet or another approved location. Um, if the stools are liquid and if indicated by the doctor, you would measure it. And then you would dispose of the bag. Okay, next I will be removing the base plate. Okay, Ms. Jones, if you experience any discomfort, please let me know. What I'll be doing next is pulling this off. It's pretty tight, so again, if it's painful, please let me know. So when removing the base plate, you want to pull the, the corners up and you want to pull towards the stoma. Um, that will limit the amount of um, skin tension or tear. Okay, and then you would dispose of this. Okay, how's everything, Ms. Jones? Okay. Now um, that everything is off, I would like to clean your stoma area. I um, have warm water and the approved solution. So I am cleaning around it. When cleaning, you wanna make sure that you always start with the inside and then towards the outside. In the process of cleaning, if you touch it and it bleeds a little, that's okay, that's normal. I'm going to dispose of this. Okay. Um, now I want to just assess it. I want to make sure that the stoma is beefy red. Um, if it was blue or purple, I would notify the provider immediately. Um, I just want to check the skin around to make sure that there's no signs of infection. Um, I would be looking for any redness or swelling or if the area is warm. Ms. Jones, while I'm touching, are you experiencing any pain? Okay, perfect. Okay, so next um, I want to measure this to determine um, the size that I should cut on a base plate. So I am going to get my measuring tool. Okay. Okay, that looks too big. Mm, that's kind of too small, it'll be too snug. Okay, that looks perfect, um, the 45 millimeters. Okay, you don't want it too tight or too, um, too, too big. Now I will get my measuring tool and put it against my face plate, face plate. and then I will, um, draw a circle to 
to um, make sure it's the correct size and then I would cut it out. Okay, now that that has been done, um, now I want to pat the area dry and dispose of that. Next, I'll be applying my stoma paste. You apply that around the stoma area. The stoma paste, um, it creates uh, extra seal and it can help prevent skin irritation. And I need to let that dry. Okay, now that that has dried, I'm ready to place my base plate on um, the patient's skin. So I would remove the adhesive backing and dispose of that. When applying, you want to ensure that it's firm. If not, um, you could experience a leakage and we don't want that. Okay, and next I will place the bag. I will clamp the end so nothing can come out. And then, Okay, and then you just want to make sure that it's on. And then at this point, you would have the patient put their hands over it if they're able to. Um, placing the hands, the body heat will help secure the seal. Okay. Ms. Jones, how are you feeling? Is everything okay? Okay, I um, are you comfortable or would you like to be raised up a little more or laid down? Okay, you're in a comfortable position and here's your call light. If you need anything, please let us know. So I will make sure that I'm leaving the area clean. I will remove my gloves, perform hand hygiene, and go document this procedure and report any concerns to the doctor.